In this video, we'll be seeing how to play a video using HLS in Android. First of all, we can create a new project. So let's create an empty view activity. So you should not select empty activity. You should select empty view activity. It is important. And click next. You can give a name for your application. You can set the package name here and you can select the folder to which you want to save this project to. You can select the language, we'll be going with Java. You can select the minimum SDK and you can select the build configuration language. We'll be going with Kotlin. Now click on finish, wait for this to complete. You can come to this documentation and here we can scroll down and you can find the dependencies that you have to add. So you can copy this. If you're using Groovy, you can select this one. Since we are using Kotlin, we'll be copying this one. Here in the application, make sure you are inside this Android. Hope you can see that. Make sure you are inside the Android and you can go inside Cradle Scripts. Open the Cradle Scripts module app, this one. And scroll down and here we can add the dependencies. Paste this one and you can see we have added this dash also. Since we are using HLS, you can remove this. Instead of that, we'll be adding HLS. So come back to the documentation and you can open this media type here and go to HLS, scroll down and you can see the dependencies that you have to add. So copy this one and you can add that here. Now you can click on sync now. Wait for this to complete. Now you can go to app, risk and inside that you can see the layout. Inside the resources, we can see the layout and open the activity main. Now you can add the layout for the video player. So first of all, we can change the parent layout to linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical. We can remove this text view from here and we can add a player view. We can select this player view, this one androidx.media3.ui.playerView. You can select this one. You can set the width to match parent and you can set the height to match parent itself. You can set the height according to your need. Right now we'll be setting it to match parent itself and you can close it. Now here we have to add an ID for this player. Now this will be our UI. Now you can go to the Java and open the Java file here. And now we have to create the object for player view. Now you can create an object for exo player. Now we have to initialize these objects. You can come here and we can initialize the player view. Player view equal to find view by id r dot id dot and give the id that we have used that is video player. Now we can initialize the exo player. Exo player equal to no exo player dot builder and inside that we can pass the activity that is this activity and we can call dot build give a semicolon now we can set the player so player view dot set player and pass exo player let's create a variable for url so string url equal to now we can specify the url for playing the video here so we'll be using a demo video link you can create the video and host it so we'll be using one link that is already hosted so we'll be using this url you can see this one so this is a demo url that is hosted in this website so you can access this url so we'll be using this for the testing purpose you can give that url here you can host your video and give the url here we'll be using this test video and we can set the url here so for that media item create an object so you have to choose the media item from this exact class so you can see that here okay this one so when you're typing you can see the suggestions let me just type it once more media item and you can see that we are having this browser.media browser and you have to choose this one androidx.media3.com so select that and create an object equal to we can create media item dot from url uri and you can pass uri dot parse and you can pass the url now you can give a semicolon here so this is the url that we have set here okay you can fetch this url from your api and you can set that that's up to your logic so we are simply going to play this video and you can give the url here now we can use exo player dot set media item pass the media item object here now you can call exo player dot prepare and you can play the video so exo player dot play that's all now you can destroy this player 
on calling this on destroy so we can override on destroy on destroy and here we can add an if condition if exo player object not equal to null if the object is not a null we can call exo player dot release and also we can set this exo player to null that's all so you can release this player here inside the on destroy so this all you can play this video now so before that we can go to the manifest and i we can set the permission for internet so users permission and set internet here and that's it now your application will be having the access to internet now you are good to go and you can play the video simply run this application let's try running this one you can see that the app has opened now you can see the video is loading let's try changing this to here you can see that the video is playing so hope you understand how to play hls video in android so this is a very simple video so we'll be coming with more detailed video on how to add quality options and how to enable full screen and all those things here on the video player you can see that we are having this fast forward and go back option we are also having this bar to move the video you can see that we are also having this small settings option and you can make the video run faster and also you can check the audio options we are only having one audio so that's not there we'll be coming up with more detailed video on this so we'll be doing a detailed video on explaining how to add encryptions onto this and how to play that video and how to add quality options and all those things in detail so stay tuned for that if you need help in converting your video files to hls format you can use this code it will help you to convert the video files to hls format you can download this one and use it for converting the video files i'll give the link for this on the description you can check it out hope you find this video helpful if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and you can also join our whatsapp group and we can have the discussions there if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos